Hey guys, it is Wolf Official here, and I'm happy to be back. And I want to keep going at it, trying to teach you as much as I can about the DJ business and getting you on the right path. So, as you know, right now you've seen a lot of the videos that I made, and we're moving along uh, the course at a, at a at a great pace. I couldn't be happier with the progress that we've made, and I think that things are really uh, going to be going well for you here in the future. If you stay positive and, um, you know, just kind of follow the, the principles that I've been throwing at you, you know, uh, take them as a grain of salt. You know, one of the things that I've always done anytime I learned something was um, I always had to take action right there. I needed some kind of tangible result. And what life really is, is it, it's not, you're not going to get... Um, there, there's what I'm trying to say is there's nothing like persistence and hard work. You, you know there you can go and you can learn all these things that I'm teaching you, but you have to be able to, um, you have to be able to work hard. Okay, I'll just save you a lot of time. I think I think we've already covered this in one of the previous videos, um, but take the stuff that I'm teaching you, you know, like a grain of salt. You know, just. Remember what you can. You don't have to write everything down. You're just learning as much as you can. Uh, and, and the biggest thing is getting perspective because it's going to come to you to do the discipline, the hard work, and follow through with persistence. You know, So that's kind of my little introduction for this particular video. And now we're going to get into uh, some, of the, some of the things I have on my list. I always have a list because I don't want to just ramble. I want to talk about things that I feel are important to your success. So, shall we? The first thing I have on my list, it looks like we have six things we're going to be talking about. Uh, we'll do them about, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll do them about two or three minutes apiece. And um, that way you kind of uh, you have a good perspective. That's the thing is you need perspective so that you have insight when you go into this thing. And always have an exit plan. So, okay. The first thing is is do your own thing. All right, do your do your own thing. Um, one of the things one of the things that will happen to you is you'll go into the business and all of a sudden people are pushing you this way and pushing you that way. Okay, and you're you you might be doing things on other people's agendas. Okay, I know it's hard if that is what you're trying to make a living doing. Right, you, you'll be pushed in this way. You'll be told to perform that way, uh, doing DJ. But you, it's all necessary, so you can kind of learn how you know how things how things move, and um, and whatnot. So you want to do your own thing. I just the important thing is I want to break this down as best as possible, and that there are so many different ways to do something. Okay. Then you do a simple Google search and you figure out, okay, step by step, this is how most people do it, or this is how this one person does it. I'm here to tell you that with the whole introduction thing and having perspective, perspective is the most important thing. Yeah, you can see that there's a whole bunch of rules and general guidelines to follow to become a DJ, but your um, your best bet is your intuition and what you foresee, like what the future is. What the future looks like for you, what the future looks like for me, you know, and that's that's so crucial that you know exactly um, what you want to do. You know, do your own thing, do your own thing. Yeah, you might need to go out there and work a few clubs uh, in order to get your name out there. Right? A few clubs could actually be over a course of a few years, um, you know, from from steady going and stuff like that. But that doesn't have to be your destiny. That does not have to be. You could. Whatever you imagine up here can become that. The, um, you know, it's like some law of attraction stuff where what whatever you foresee happening in, in your reality, uh, being a DJ, you need to focus on that. Don't focus on what other, other people are doing. You know, you see them, observe them, but do your own thing, you know, and then be a leader is ultimately what I'm saying. So let's move on to the next thing. Um... I'm pretty sure that we touched on this already. Hard work and persistence. Um, 
I'm going to lightly go over this, maybe like one minute, one or, one or two minutes. But one of the things that's gotten me, um, I think the recognition that I deserve is the hard work and uh, sacrifices that I've made. Uh, you know, some of them, I can't remember all of them. I know, whatever, whatever you want to think. But I've had enough successes to where some things just come natural for me now and I fail to uh, remember what I've been through. You know, so I've been through a lot and you have too. You've been through a lot and it's um, it's so important that you look back and, and it's not necessarily gratitude. Yeah, that's important, but you need to kind of look back and see where you came from. Where you came from is uh, essentially how you got there. How you, how, let me do that right. How you got there. How, <clears throat> how you got there uh, is important to look at that insight because you want to see the um, some of those milestones, some of those things that you did to get there. Because you will notice anything worthwhile accomplishing took a lot of hard work. And the hard work, um, you need to remember those those times where you accomplished stuff and where you were persistent with it. And you'll notice over the course of a decade, all the things that you've accomplished is, um, you know, quite extraordinary if you think about it. But you need to focus in on uh, some of the things that you've accomplished. And you'll notice that hard work was right there all along. Okay, next one is um, networking and promoting other people. So... I'm the type of person who reads something. I'll read something on Google. Yeah, I refer to Google a lot, but that's not the only thing I read. Um, what I'm saying is you, you, networking people, um, networking and other people, okay? I know that's kind of just a word that we like to, to read over real quick and, 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 and kind of just, oh, yeah, we know what that is. That's so self-explanatory. But if you think about it, I mean, if you really think about it, how would you apply that? How would you put a number on that? How would you measure that? And the best way to do that is uh, impact, like the impact that you make. Um, you can see, for example, if one of, the, one of the coolest things I ever got was uh, I had a, a, a person following me on Facebook one time, and he just, uh, yeah, it was a guy. He, he, he posted on a lot of the posts that I had, and I noticed that he was liking everything that I was posting and I'm just really caught my attention because it's like wow you know I don't really know him that well but he's a fan and he, he's he's looking at all the posts and whatnot and I just couldn't you know I could have been happier but what he was doing was smart in the sense that he was noticing um, whether I was an influential person or what or whatnot I, I don't I don't really care I just do my thing right doing your own thing but that's his way of networking is in, in promoting other people and in turn you can see how I look at him now and I look at him like oh wow it's this guy so when he goes to do something big he's already set himself up for success because he's promoting other people now you gotta be careful about who you're promoting because if you're promoting people that um, you know aren't good for your health mentally physically I hope not physically but um, you want you want to be able to promote the right people and that to me is absolutely important that you protect yourself and that you promote the right people that are gonna that are like-minded as you and that are gonna get you to where you need to go next one um, we only have three left the uh, next one is transportation and finances we're not gonna go in completely into finances because honestly I'm thinking about creating another video on finances because there's just, you know, there's just so much to, to finances that um, it couldn't couldn't possibly be covered in one video. So, the whole deal with transportation and finances is you need to have a vehicle that is uh, getting good gas mileage and that you can put your stuff in the back if need be. You're not always going to be able to put your equipment, your turntables and stuff, in a smaller car, but you can in a truck or a van or a motorhome RV. You get the idea. Or you don't even have to do that at all. You can just use the club's turntables. If you're a club DJ, you can use their turn turntables. You don't need to provide any on your own. And you just come up. You just show up with your laptop and you show up with a USB drive. And as long as you know how to mix and stuff like that, uh, you know, 
be a DJ, then you'll be fine. And then um, as far as practicing goes, you know, you, you, you probably want to have some kind of turntables at your house, right? Turntables at your house where you can practice. And that would be, you know, you know, that way you're not moving like, you're not moving stuff around a whole lot. And so that's really important that you have good transportation to get you there that's reliable. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next thing. Education and other skills. All right. This, I like to, always, I always like to break things down and connect them with their counterparts. So when it comes to education and other skills, you should have some kind of background in something that makes you either an expert or you've had a job in that area or you went to school in that area. Ding, ding. So there's two types of education. There's formal education, which means, you know, getting a degree, getting a degree in some kind of school, some credited university or uh, community college. That's a formal education where you sit in a classroom and you learn and you get tested and you get a GPA and, and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the formal side. And then you have the informal side. The informal side of education is uh, self-taught. There are so many people out there that are self-taught millionaires. Have I met any of them? No. <laughs> but the, the, the idea is those people that teach themselves things, they're, they're out there. I know they're out there because even I know that the reason I know they're out there is because people who um, who like to learn and stuff like that who, who just love teaching themselves stuff those are the ones who are gonna make it and I'm positive that those people are millionaires you know what I mean so that's how I know and having said that you have the two types of formal form or you have two types of education formal and informal informal is I think more important than formal yeah, formal education like a college degree will get your foot in the door, but informal education usually involves skills, skills that you know how to do, like whether you know how to make websites, you know how to market, you know how to sell things, uh, you know how to program, stuff like that. Those are skills. Those are usually not, usually not acquired in college, usually. Okay, so your informal education could be anything, really, it could be anything, and that is so important in if you... Uh, if you want to, because life after college is what? You get a job and then you learn skills in that job. Well, you always want to have skills, especially if you're own, you're work for somebody, and also if you're going to be your own boss. In my opinion, some of the most successful people are their own boss and they have their own skills. I do, however, think that some of them did get education, okay? I'm not turning down education by any means because... I know that there's a dem demographic out there for people who don't like school. I've heard it. I've seen it. I was one of them. I can connect with it. If you're there, I can connect with you. In that college is not, you know, why am I going to college? Why am I paying all this money? It's a return on investment. You're getting a good job. Get older. You'll still have some, some kind of security. Just a basic degree and some kind of marketable degree, you know. There's degrees out there that aren't as marketable, and, and, and that's why you're wondering you're, why you're going to school paying so much money, because you just don't see the the benefit unless you had something that was a little bit more of a marketable degree that people could uh, pay you for, usually around the skills set, uh, usually around like, usually around business, usually. But you can find that you can make money in different um, areas other than business. So you have informal education people. Uh, that teach themselves things, but I do think that having that education, the formal education, is really important too. Because you want you want to have both. I believe that you want to have both. I believe I'll say it again. I believe that you want to have both. You want to have a formal education and you want to be self-taught. All right. And you need to have discipline. I just thought I'd throw that out there. But we're only talking about the education right now and the uh, the skills. Um, the skills we, we already talked about that. You need to have some skills. Start developing skills. It doesn't have to be what the world is telling you to get. It just has to be uh, skills that you are um, that make you happy, like passion-wise. For me, it could be making music videos. I like making music videos, and so that to me is 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 fun. So, 
Uh, and the last thing is financing your dream. Just uh, go ahead and, and work as hard as you can with um, saving as much money as you possibly can because when you save money, uh, you're, you're paving the way for your future. And like I said, I can't go a, a, whole mu a whole video into finances and stuff like that, but I'm just here to say save your money uh, for rainy days because it's going to get it's going to be rainy days. <laughs> and so uh, we'll talk more about the finance, financial stuff later. All right. And uh, good luck with this, guys. Thanks.